The color tool lets you quickly change the colors of a skin or elements, including the color of an SVG. And you'll find it here in the upper right corner of the toolbar. I want to change the color of this SVG, so I'll open the color tool to do that. And what you see here are all the colors that consist of this button, all two of them, black and white. The left column represents the original color, and the right column is the updated color. Expanding on the triangles reveals each part of an element that uses that particular color. In this simple example, we see that the SVG uses a black fill and a white fill. I want to change the color of the white fill, so I'll just double click here, and this brings up the color picker. So I'll pick my color, and since I'll be using this later, I'll add it to the color well. Then I'll hit apply, and now I have a blue inside fill. And that's just for a single color in a single element. Where the color tool really shines is when you want to change the color of multiple elements. Select all the elements you want to change, and then open the color tool. Again, we see only two colors being used, and that's because all these elements are using the same colors. Again, I want to change the white color fill of all the buttons, so I just have to double click the top bar here, add the color, and apply. Now all the buttons have a blue inner fill. The color tool will also show elements that aren't listed in the skin. For instance, if I add a map to the skin, you don't see that it actually contains a radar beam. But if I open the color tool, you'll see all of a sudden I have red in my skin. If I open this, I see that the color comes from the radar beam. I want to change it to match the rest of my skin, so I'll choose my blue color and I'll just change its opacity. I should mention that if you've used logic blocks to address color for text, borders, background, etc., you'll also see these colors represented in the color tool. Now I'll output that to see how it looks. And there we go. I've quickly changed the skin's controller and even the map's radar beam. That's great, but what if I want all the elements in a more complex skin to match? Here's the silhouette skin, and I'll open the color tool making sure there's nothing selected in this skin. And this way, all the elements that have the color white will show up. Now I'll just apply that same blue color to the skin. I'll double click the white color bar and select my blue color I saved earlier. Now the hotspots, tooltips, borders, and anything else using white has been changed to blue. And if there were elements using variations of white, I would also have to change those. Next I'll add a logo to the skin. And the logo is an SVG, which means I can change its colors to match my skin without using another piece of software. I want to match the logo to the skin, and I want everything except the base and the arrow to be blue. So I'll select it and open the color tool. We now see all the different colors and shades used in the logo. So first, I'll change the green square. There are multiple shades, so I'll select them all, holding down Command or Control while clicking. And then I'll use these sliders here in the Transform Color section to change all the shades all at the same time. And now I'll select the yellow shades and change them to blue. And finally, I'll do the same with all the blue shades. And now my logo matches my skin. Of course, I can refine this a bit more, but in general, it's very quick. And that's the color tool and how to quickly change colors in a skin.